Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Removal. Using a non-marring tool, carefully pry up the two oblong rubber screw covers on the rear bottom of the notebook. Using the same tool, carefully pry up the two round rubber screw covers in the center bottom of the notebook. Remove the 13 6mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Turn over the notebook and open the display panel to access the top cover. Very carefully, and if necessary, using a shroud separator, pry up the top cover from the base enclosure. Lift the top cover up and move it just enough to the front of the notebook to access the keyboard and touchpad ZIF connectors and the battery connector on the system board. Caution: To avoid damaging the keyboard and touchpad ribbon cables and connectors inside, do not pull the top cover away from the base enclosure until these have been disconnected. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and remove the keyboard ribbon cable. Important: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the touchpad ZIF connector on the system board and remove the touchpad ribbon cable. Important: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the top cover, which contains the keyboard and touchpad. If the touchpad needs to be removed, peel up the touchpad ribbon cable and grounding tape. Remove the two thin 2 mm broadhead P0 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover and push the touchpad out the top of the top cover to remove it. Replacement. If the touchpad needs to be replaced, feed the touchpad ribbon cable through the opening and press the touchpad into place. Replace the two thin 2 mm broadhead P0 screws to secure the touchpad to the top cover and re-adhere the touchpad ribbon cable and grounding tape to the top cover. Position the top cover over the front edge of the notebook to access the keyboard and touchpad ribbon cables and ZIF connectors on the system board. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the battery cable to the system board. Align the top cover over the base enclosure and gently press it down all around the edges to snap it into place. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the 13 6 mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Replace the two round rubber screw covers in the center bottom of the notebook. Replace the two oblong rubber screw covers in the rear bottom of the notebook. 